Salutations to the elders and apostles of Great Mystery of the Well and the Akiyan preaching the word Lord Yabashim Arasha in sincerity and in truth. Alright, so uh, you can see on the screen that's uh, an apple tree. You know, you gotta be, <laughs> you gotta be aware of uh, your, your goings, your journeys in this truth. You know, it comes with conditions where you have to be fruitful, you have to be productive. All right, but uh, mentally, spiritually, even financially, all right, how you manage your affairs, it has to be in a productive manner. All right, because being a man of the Lord is not a uh, walk in the park. You have to make sure you, your house is in order, and that's uh, that's a requirement, you know, for being productive. You have to make sure you have the necessary things that uh, are required for you to be productive you need your mind to be rooted and anchored in the word of the lord and you have to walk in the world in the, with a balanced approach man you can't be over righteous in this kingdom all right you have to know how to uh you know take an l you know trim your lamp you know trim the you know trim certain things that don't really need uh, your attention and that's exactly what it requires to be productive, all right? And that's one thing, you know, when you are a man of the Lord, you're basically a farmer, all right? You're sowing seeds here and there. You're making sure everything is done in decency and order so you could have a, a proper reward, so you could reap a harvest that's uh, beneficial to you and the Akim, all right, of the household of faith. And that's exactly what we need to focus on, all right? So I want to get a quick precept. It's going to be from the book of uh, of John. Because this is what Lord Yahweh requires of us. Because he's the one that hired us to do this work. And we have to abide by his standards. All right. So this book of uh, John chapter 15 verse 16. It says, uh, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. All right? And that's the reason why. So you can be productive. You know, once you're doing the work of the Lord, you know you're going to generate results, and that result is going to reflect what level you run, you know? What level you're on, you know, it's gonna reflect your uh, experience in this truth. It's gonna reflect how much time you dedicated to the field, you know, to uh, doing the work. Well, so Lord Yabba Shima Shai expects from us to be uh, properly focused in making sure that the garden is well, is well, you know, is tended to. You know that you're paying attention to what needs attention. You know, just like a uh, the shepherd he pays attention to the flock you know and when you're a husband man you pay attention to the you know to the to the land you pay attention to the to the crops you know the fruits and all the vegetables so you could reap a harvest that's what it's like when you're doing the work of the lord you are cognizant you are aware of of uh, the state of uh, your affairs you know, you understand what brothers need, and you know how to guide brothers, all right? Because you're not always going to be there, but as long as you provide them what they need, they're good, all right? So they have any more questions. So that's what we're looking forward to, man. We're looking forward to being productive in this truth. You don't want to be held back. You don't want to be stagnant, all right? Even Yahweh Shai had parables, you know, about uh, being productive, you know, uh, the servant, you know, the servant that's been productive, you know, always waiting, you know, for his master, you know, to arrive. Okay, you always got to be there, you know, always paying attention to the prophecies. You know, that's what it's like being, you know, being in the world, being, in, you know, in this truth. You're watching out for the things, you know, you're watching out for the prophecies, you know. Just like uh, the, the weatherman, the, the meteorologist is checking out the weather. You know, the rainfall, the wind speed, the temperature and humidity. 
if I write and know that, that's exactly what it means the Lord and do it. You know, you're paying attention to the events that are taking place all over the world. All right. And uh, another precept is going to be from the book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter 17, verses 7 and 8. It says, Blessed is that man that trusted in the Lord Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushah, Ba'ashem Yahushah, and whose hope the Lord is. All right. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat cometh, but her leaves shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. And that's exactly what the Lord Yabashim Shai has promised to his elect. Just like you see the fruits on this tree, that's what the men of the Lord are, are likened to. All right, because they have they have uh, attributes of a, of a fruitful tree, of a fruitful vine. All right, and that's exactly what we need to keep in mind, man. You know, anytime you're walking around the neighborhood, you see a tree, green leaves, the fruits, you know, the flowers blossoming, and all that stuff. That's what you need to keep you, you know, in remembrance. Of your walk in the Lord, the Abashima Shai, because it's really necessary we stay fruitful. Or right? you just don't go to work and just take, 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 take. You have to be productive. You know, you can't just milk the clock without doing any work. All right, that's what the Lord, the Abashima Shai, expects from us, man. You know, He expects us to be productive. You can't be stagnant. You also remember the parable of the talent. All right. You have to bring something back to the table. You have to get out there, you know, sow your seeds, you know, make sure that uh, everything is taken care of in, in, the, in the right proportion, all right? Verse 8, I read it one more time. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that spreadeth out her roots by the river. All right, God, so the tree needs water, man, you know? And shall not see, and shall not see when heat cometh, because when you take care of your plants, you know they're they're ready, they're ready, you know, to withstand the storm. All right, they were, you know, they they're already taken care of, they're shielded from the heat. All right, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought. So remember, the famine of the world is coming. All right, and it says neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Even during our darkest hours, man, the man of the Lord, the wisdom will be increasing. All right? So this is the book of uh, Amos chapter 8, verse 11. All right, it tells you clearly. It says, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, the Hawa, Hashem, 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 that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So the men of the Lord are going to be productive in this last days, man. You know, when everybody else is running around looking for doctrine or righteousness, they're not going to be able to get it because they weren't prepared in the first place. Only the men of the Lord will have this doctrine. That's exactly what uh, Isaiah chapter 33 verse 6 says. You know, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. All right? I read it to you. So this is Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation, the fear of the Lord, the hour, is his treasure. Yep. So that's exactly what you need to expect. Because the Lord, the Abba, has something in store for us. Some right, something fit, or right, something befitting for royalty. You know, for a high priest. All right, so we, we have to uh, strive to be fruitful and remain fruitful, man. Because it's really necessary in these last days that we don't uh, get consumed by, 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 the, by the drought, by the heat that's coming. Okay, so another precept is going to be from the book of uh, Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7. You know what, uh, start from, uh, um, 
Yeah, Galatians chapter 6 verse 7, it says, Be not deceived, the most high is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So when you sow in righteousness, you're going to reap righteousness. If you sow according to corrupt corruption, you shall reap all corruption. All right, for verse, verse 8 says, For he that soweth to his flesh shall reap of the flesh corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap everlasting life. That's why we keep hopping and yelling to our people not to engage in this protest and just wait upon the Lord yeah, by Shema or Shai. All right? And verse 9 says, Let us not be weary in doing well. So as a farmer, you shouldn't be tired of taking care of the garden, taking care of the trees, taking care of the brotherhood. You shouldn't be tired, all right? For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. And that's exactly what happens when you're getting closer and closer to the season of harvest. You understand that you need to tighten up because uh, there's so much, so much that been put into into that 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 uh, field to make sure you know the the the, the fruits that you know I, I you know are produced. You know, you just don't want to put in all that work and then there's nothing to show at the end. That's not the way the Lord works. That's what the Lord warned the prophet against. You got to be fruitful. You know, this is verse 9. I read one more time. Let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So we're getting closer and closer to that time of salvation. All right, the time of salvation, the time of harvest that we're waiting for. All right, because Lord Abba Shema has promised us salvation. You know, that's exactly what we've been hoping and praying for all this time. So we'll be delivered from the hands of our enemies. Or another precept is going to be from the book of uh, Sirach. Sirach chapter 39, verses 33 to 34. Right. It says, All the works of the Lord are good, and He will give every needful thing in due season. All right, so in due season, we shall reap our rewards that is coming from the Lord. All right, that's why the Lord Yahweh is going to give every man his reward according to his work. So it's really necessary we stick to the plan, we stick to the Lord's uh, you know, promise. Of uh, that reward that is on its way. So this is verse 34. So that the man cannot say this is worse than that. For in time they shall all be well approved. Alright. So it's really necessary that we stick with the Lord's commandments. We stick with his recommendations. Because it's, it, he is coming. You know he's coming quickly. He's coming quickly. I mean there's no other way I can say it. Alright. He's coming quickly. All right, the scripture talks about uh, the day of the Lord. You know, it's, it's terrible. Who can abide it? Only the men of the Lord that are firmly rooted in the Lord, how shy. All right. Final precept is going to be from the book of uh, Matthew. Matthew chapter 5. I'm going to read uh, verse 48. All right, so it says... Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. All right, you have to be balanced. You have to be sincere. All right, because uh, you're 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 a servant of the Lord. You have shy. All right, you're his employee. You're his prisoner. You're on the Most High's chain gang. So you have to do whatever you need to do to serve your sentence and you know, be in your best behavior. You know that's exactly what. Uh, we're looking forward to man you know you don't want to serve all your time in captivity and then you get destroyed you know we're not uh we're not looking forward to being on death row <laughs> we're looking forward to early release man that's why we gotta get on that uh early release program you know because uh there's parole you know there is parole for the elect <laughs> all right that's why we're getting out of here through the blood of the Lord Yabashima, Shabashima, Krakadash. So that was the point there, I came, you know, stay fruitful, stay humble, you know, keep your uh, your field trimmed and uh, well taken care of, man, because we're getting close to the time of harvest. Shalom.